bridesmaid at a local church. It was a great day. I was a bridesmaid and got to wear an amazing long night dress. But I want to find out what the ceremony really meant and why marriage is important for Christians like my mum. I'm going to speak to my mum and stepdad to ask them questions about why it was important for Christians to get married. We wanted to show our commitment in front of God, our friends and family. Were you nervous before the wedding? I was nervous. I was nervous. He at was all. nervous. I was nervous. You, you keep me waiting for 25 minutes. Didn't make me nervous at all. <laughs> what was your favourite part about the wedding? Walking down the aisle together. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that on the way out. I think that was nice actually being because we were separate to begin with and then we combined and walked right. down the aisle ourselves. So yeah, I quite enjoyed that. This is the church where my mum got married. Traditionally the bride walks up the aisle to meet the groom, who is waiting with the vicar and the best man. My name is Penny Sayer. I am the vicar here at St Albans Church in Dagenham. The vicar welcomes everyone. We say a prayer and sing a hymn. In the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of David and Katrina. Why is it important for Christians to get married? Christians look to the Bible as their sort of the, the text that teaches them how to do things. And if you remember, right at the beginning of the Bible, in the book of Genesis, God creates Adam, and Adam is very lonely, so God creates Eve to be a partner and, and a helpmate and to go through life together. So that's really the foundation of family life, that a man and a woman come together uh, and they live their lives faithfully together. After the prayers, the vicar stands here and tells us a little bit about what marriage is. It enriches society and strengthens community. No one should enter into it lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly in the sight of Almighty God. I know usually brides get married in white, but my mum got married in red. Does that matter? That doesn't matter at all. The most important thing is that you have the man and the woman who want to be married, and you have two witnesses. So actually all you need is five people, minimum. But you had a, a big family wedding, didn't you, with lots and lots of people. After that, there is a Bible reading. My uncle read a passage which talk, talks about how people should behave when they're in love and how they should treat each other. Wives, understand and support your husbands by submitting to them in ways that honour the master. Husbands, go all out in love for your wives. Don't take advantage of them. Then the vicar gives a sermon. Penny talks about love and marriage. Marriage is a gift from God to all of us. Couples are intended to find delight in each other. Now we move on to the really exciting bit. The vicar turns to the couple and asks them to hold hands and vow that they love each other and will look after each other. Hi, David Vincent Tumber. Take you, Katrina Ann Emerson. Take you, Katrina Ann Emerson. To be my wife. To be my wife. Hi, Katrina Ann Emerson. Take you, David Vincent Tumba. Take you, David Vincent Tumba. To be my husband. To be my husband. Why do Christians use wedding rings? Just because it's traditional. You don't have to have wedding rings. Um, and sometimes just the bride will have a ring, not the groom. Um, it's quite symbolic because it goes round and round and round forever, so it's a sign of everlasting love. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to David and Katrina, a symbol of an ending love and faithfulness. Katrina, I give you this ring. Katrina, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. A sign of our marriage. They are pronounced husband and wife, and they normally kiss. In the presence of God and before this congregation, David and Katrina have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings.
When the ceremony is over, family and friends got together to have a party. Often speeches were made and there was a wedding cake. But today I've learnt that the most important thing is that God is there too, blessing the couple and their love for each other. For me it's great because I have an even bigger family.